that we walk from Australia and we write in them every day. No, I go to bed and I've been homeschooled for around 18 months. Okay. So I'm in year eight. I'm in year six. And I have a whole heap of books. And every day we try and do at least uh, two hours of work and read. But some days we get distracted if we're in tropical paradise. I really like homeschooling because we get it done a lot faster than the usual school does. So you guys are learning not only in your books, but you have a lot of cool life life lessons as well. Uh, Dad sometimes teaches us how to tie ropes. <laughs> and we know how to use a GPS and to go place navigation and stuff. Yeah, we're yeah. learning we're Indonesian. Le we're learning another language and we're learning all... Like diving and going snorkelling. We went yeah. to a village. Um, at Tomia and they actually just like have like a little square in their house and it's over the water which is pretty cool but they just squat in there and do their wee and poo. Learning wise? Um, we've learned about all their foods. I personally like the nasi padang or nasi goreng. and oh, is an Indonesian, traditional Indonesian ambon salad. What's yeah, got I got it. It's got coconut shavings, snake bean, some sort of lettuce, onion, um, onion, fish, and that's it. And some other greens. And it's very, very yummy. good. And my favourite Indonesian food is mee goreng and these little balls, what are bakso. No one like dogs likes balls. them. They look like dog balls. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes with this soup that tastes like pepper. <laughs> I do not know. So <laughs> Okay. You say what? What do we do when we're sailing? Well, what I do is I draw or read. Well, on the other hand, Bella does. What do you do, Bella? Well, it depends sort of if the boat is rocking, I'll probably sleep. And if it's like a night, if we're doing night shifts, me and Taj will do watches. But, and I'll play my ukulele. And yeah, we just read and do some of our schoolwork. So when we get to our tropical destination, we can go diving and stuff. I think that's all we do. How do we handle bad weather? Well, what we do is we close the hatch, lie down, and read. How do you guys feel when it's rough? Do you get scared? Um, Not really. I don't get scared. I just like, if like I feel a little bit sick, I eat. Well, here's a really handy tip. If you feel any little bit of sick, you eat toothpaste, ginger, <laughs> Um, I think really like spicy like that it helps me and I don't feel sick and I'll just go to sleep or you can take a seasick. Time. Usually get seasick when we first started our journey I've got a little bit seasick but I've grown out of it now. You never vomited because I don't think I could be. When I did get seasick all I did was I just went to sleep. Or ate toothpaste or ginger. Handy Next tips. question. <laughs> Next <laughs> question. People ask us in such a small space do we fight a lot? Well, we used to fight sometimes when we had the same room, but now I have my own room. We love each other, and it's very good. Tash? Um, yep, yeah, what she said. My favourite place we've been is Doa's Island. It's in Indonesia with right-hander waves, crystal clear water, and the best snorkelling. favourite place we've been is probably the Percy Islands in Australia because we got to go sandboarding nearly every day down these giant sand dunes. Destination I would want to go to, if I could go anywhere, it would be San Francisco. San Francisco, because I want to see my Uncle Dan and Auntie Heidi, and also three hours away from there is snow, and I want to go snowboarding. Another place I would like to go is 
to Palau because it looks amazing there and our friends go there sometimes so I'd like to go with them and to go diving that would be awesome. I would like to go to Japan because I've never been there before. You can get whatever sort of food you want. You can go to a Chinese restaurant, an Indian restaurant, a Japanese restaurant, an Indonesian restaurant, a Thailand rest, a Thai restaurant. You can get any sort of food there. All different cultures. And there's buffets. Oh, and friends. <laughs> friends so, and family. So what I'm gonna say is, friends and family. I miss my friends and family. And I also miss the surf there, because it's like good surf there. I miss that everything is original in Australia. <laughs> original. Like you can't walk in there and buy the art supplies product. that I use in Indonesia. Can't get a fake product. Okay, so what, what have you, how have you found travelling through Indonesia? A lot of people ask questions like, are there pirates? Nah. No, there's no pirates. Yeah. There's selfie crowds. Oh, they're, no, they're called selfie frenzies. It's like, what happens when you guys go ashore? So one person pulls out the camera and goes, selfie? And, and then go, all okay, of them. and then everyone comes out and goes, to, and you're like stuck there for about an hour. The major? Bullets. Bullets. What do they say to you guys? Jante, they go, Jante! <laughs> So we can't walk anywhere down the street without these two getting pulled over with photos and you like it? Valley doesn't like it. Gets a bit tiring after a while. All the girls like Taj. When we're getting internet, this girl sits there at Taj and goes like this. Uh love travelling. You get to go to new places every day. No, not every day. We get to go to new places. Everywhere we go, our home is with us. Where we go, I have everything. Off the Utah. I like living on a boat because we get to be closer with our family, with them not going to work and not seeing them much. <laughs> Do you love yes. being close to your family? I love it. <laughs> too much for you guys sometimes? A little bit. A little bit. Do we all need our space sometimes? Yes. Yeah. So everybody <laughs> asks how you live aboard with as a family. You guys, do you enjoy it? Yep. Yeah? yeah. Nothing, nothing, you have no negatives about living on a boat. <laughs> oh really? Some. It's very small. Very confined space. Um, when you want somebody out of the room and they don't. It's a little bit frustrating. Your room's very close to the bathroom, Tash. Yeah. Like that. Dad goes to the toilet and it sinks in my room. <laughs> it drops a big bomb in the toilet and it's like... <laughs> if you could send a gas mask somewhere, it would be really nice. <laughs> Alright, the biggest thing's the, the difference. Our um, land, you don't rock. And we use the tender for the car. We have to use our big muscles to pull the tender up. Okay. We've been in Indonesia for five months. Favourite thing about Indonesia? So far. I'm as tall as everyone. <laughs> I'm taller than everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so they all think you're older, don't they? Yeah. I reckon I could walk into the liquor store and buy <laughs> a couple of bottles of rum. If you got any more, more questions, questions, we're happy, happy to, to answer, answer them. them. Bye.